we're gonna look like businessmen delivering packages. Money, money, money! Only us and you will know it's drugs. Okay. Anybody who's in possession of over 650 grams of cocaine, mandatory life. White boy Rick. His name is Richard Wershey Jr. I was like, who was this white kid, you know, that was supposedly running all these black gangs and, and running the city of Detroit? And when you're 17 years old and you're moving kilos, you're at a, a status of drug dealer that most 17-year-olds don't reach. Why would a juvenile, nonviolent drug offender be kept in prison beyond 29 years? I found out that the reality was much different than the legend. And I knew that there were corrupt police officers involved in this thing. Coleman Young is the most powerful politician in the history of Detroit, and his niece was Kathy Volson, and she was married to Johnny Curry, one of the biggest drug dealers in Detroit. Every by every police officer down at 1300 was crooked. If you're a criminal, I would advise you never to get a nickname. So they said, we got to kill that white boy. <laughs> Law enforcement created almost the perfect criminal. The war on drugs is over, and drugs won. There's still a lot of angry people in the city of Detroit, in positions of power. I did way more than he could possibly have it done to get that kind of a sentence. Third world countries don't incarcerate like this. You're not trying to tell me that you're an angel, that you never did anything wrong, are you? I've been involved in wrongdoing, but I don't feel I did anything to receive a life sentence.